Hi, in this video today, I'm going to talk about sock matchup if you are blind or visually impaired. For me, sock matchup starts with a giant bag of mismatched socks. Yes, just a few here. And every couple of months, I go through the hideous task of trying to match them up. I have three techniques I use. The first technique is I divide all my socks into piles. One pile are for the ankle socks and one pile are for the knee high. Let's see, where's a knee high sock? Well, that one doesn't really feel knee high. Um, here we go. Once one pile goes for the longer socks. One pile goes for those socks that have some distinctive feature. For example, this one's got a little bump out on the back of the ankle. That is one technique I use for matching up socks. The second technique I use is when the socks come off my feet, I put them right into these garment bags, one or two pairs at a time, and that makes sock matchup a lot easier. Or the third technique I use is when the socks come off my feet, I fold them up and wash them that way. So which of these three techniques works the best? The answer is none. In this video, don't do what I do. Do what I've been meaning to do for about a decade, which is to get rid of all the old socks and start fresh. Because if you are blind or visually impaired, what probably will work best is to have one or two styles of socks, perhaps one ankle sock and one longer sock. Don't do what I've done with these hideous socks, okay? With this hideous chore. Because inevitably, there's going to be a sock that gets gobbled up in the washing machine. Or if you're a mom, you'll understand that um, kids leave socks lying all over the house, right? And then you gotta then you gotta try and deal with that to find a matchup. So in this video, I urge you just get socks that are simple, only one or two styles, and save yourself the headache. And will someone please send me a pair of socks that match? This is Jen signing off. Bye.